Hey guys, uh, this is Mitch from Florida. I have a little build project here you can try. It's a micro-sized uh, space shuttle model. Okay, first of all, this model is actually a foam glider you can buy from uh, Willow. I bought the glider on eBay for $8. I converted it into a uh, three-channel uh, with Elevon mixing and speed control. You can see my Elevons here and my motor control here. Okay, I'm using a Fly Sky transmitter, which you can pick up pretty cheap for about $30. A WL Toys receiver, uh, which you can buy on eBay for about $13. And these are great little receivers. They're lightweight, they have digital servos, not the linear servos that always give you so much trouble. Works on a 3.7 volt battery, LiPo battery. Okay, what you need here for your power, I have two 7 by 16 3.7 coreless motors with 45 millimeter props. The thrust produced is about uh, total 24 to 28 grams. Now, big thing about these models, you want to keep the weight down. So my goal is to keep the weight under 40 grams. First thing you want to do though, after you buy your uh, glider, is to test glide it. You want to find the CG. This is important as you go through the build process. You can locate your receiver battery so you don't have to add weight to the model later. Okay, underneath... I have optional landing gear on here. You don't have to use them. I put a little strip here of foam that I can grab and hand launch the model. Here is where my two servos are. Uh, my receiver coming out, exiting the bottom uh, with 0.025 wire for control linkage. So after you have your glider, you have the CG mark and everything. First thing you want to do is cut and remove the top patch. Okay, I use a hot wire to do this with the cardboard guides taped to the side of the fuselage. Uh, hot wire won't cut through cardboard, but it does melt through foam. After I cut my hatch off, I hollowed out the interior up into the nose, all the way back, and through the ex um, rear of the aircraft here. Also, remove the uh, engine module here cut that off and then haul that out again everything's to reduce weight so after you have it all hollowed out and everything what you want to do is cut for your elevons and cut notches in to mount your motors very simple nothing complex about this I use scotch tape on my uh, elevons to mount them and scotch tape on the side of the hatch all the way down to act as a hinge and I have two uh, little magnets here to act as a magnetic latch it works great okay now after this video I'll have some pictures with some specifications of things that you need and it's a step-by-step -step rough guide. If you're familiar with building now, you won't have any project, any trouble with this project. It came out pretty nice. I've already test flown it, hand launched it, and it flies. So, um, I think you can have some fun with this. Okay, guys, good luck, good flying.